Hi, I'm just going to show you how to make cornice for a wall. First, let's create a wall using C extension. It's not an ideal way to create a wall, but I'm going to create that regardless. I'm using this line uh, for reference or margin where I'm gonna put my cornice uh, you always need a, a reference image for creating a cornice for the wall I'm gonna use this one right here let's go on any other view and let's create a line I'm just gonna construct my cornice now um, you might want to check grid points so it snaps to the grid something real quick close close spline yes right click get rid of the snapping tool convert to editable spline go on vertices click on fillet start filling it's pretty neat tool I like using fillet a lot Okay, after this is done, let's make that smaller. Let's move it over. Let's fit it more smaller. Let's fit it in there. Doesn't matter. I just made uh, this corner is real small, but uh, you can always scale that one up or move the edge down anytime you want. Let's go to another view to like uh, neat things up. There it is, pretty much. Ah, not bad. Okay, now. shaded when the line selected apply extrude modifier and extrude the mount up okay so that's your cornice but uh, this is the easy part now let's go to the little challenging than that convert that to a double poly it's neat thing up a bit okay. I'm just gonna use a polygon and borrow this face Clone to object, new, there it is, okay. We need something that will um, intersect the horizontal vertical line of this wall. Uh, in order to do that, we need something that curves along 
and uh, to make that one more time we need to create a spline object a circle this time let's auto grid this one on top of this right click and convert to edible spline go on segments select and delete some like three segments keep the one alive which one you're gonna use um, let's uh, scale this one uh, first let's select that scale let's put x value um, let's say 70 it depends on uh, how thick is your wall All right let's just position that we are going to need a couple pieces for this uh, first this one and uh, another one let's make a copy of that and uh, let's put a y value on that one okay alright uh, when uh, this polygon is selected let's center its pivot so we can select it easily when this polygon is selected uh, go on polygon extrude along the spline let's pick a spline let's pick this one uh, check this one okay that's one Okay. Or you know what? I can always uh, pick a spline. And increase the segments here so that it remains smoother. Ah, uh, tennis fine. Okay, that's one. alright now uh, I'm going to do the same thing for the other face select this polygon alright let's go on effect pivot object center for this one actually not the other one now um, in this case uh, again extrude along the spline pick a spline pick this one take this and increase the segments to 10 like the other one get out of polygon and there it is. Uh, this one could go right here, and uh, this one can go. Let's go on top view. Can go right here. something like this uh. yeah okay let's go zoom that one in so what we can do here is uh, clone and make one of one that connects make one here and go on 
sub editing mo mode and do crazy stuff with you can always um, connect or attach one with another so you can um, globally control that uh, but for this case I'm not going to do that since it's a demo so this is pretty much it uh, how you're making these uh, cornices if the corners are a little bit edgy you can always select that uh, go on polygon and select all the polygons you can always uh, go on the smoothing group where is the smoothing group clear all smoothing group then auto smooth didn't need that but uh, either way it's all cool is a cornice uh, you can always extend uh, one part to the other one uh, but there's one more thing one last thing that you have to do which is from the top view go on wireframe this one like uh, let's tidy things up a little bit go on vertices and uh, select these ones and pull this so that it covers up the back of the wall and here now uh, tidy things up furthermore make planner to X this will be make planner to Y is it Oop. make one to Z alright after this is done let's get the hell out of here pardon me so uh, the wall is perfectly uh, uh, bordered the cornice is functional so that's how you're gonna create a cornice for your wall and uh, if you wanna um, do something like that on the bottom I usually use uh, I just like select that and uh, selecting the wall of course then uh, bring a bring this one down actually it's easier then chamfer something like this and then what you can do is uh, select polygon and shift select the sides of course not these sides neither the back and use the sh simple extrusion 
my local normal. A tiny bit. There it is. Uh, Wild with cornice. Hope this one helps.